Uh, welcome back everybody. What you're looking at is a um, pretty much it's a completed uh, build. Uh, what we have in front of us is the uh, ASUS uh, MSA97 Revision 2 uh, motherboard and this is an AMD board so it's an AIM3 Plus board. Uh, it's a Crossfire X board and um, you know what we have in, in installed is a AMD FX6300 uh, 6 core processor and 8 gigs of crucial uh, b ballistic RAM. So it's only 1600 megahertz. Uh, technically, the processor runs at, um, RAM at six, 1866. But you know, just uh, we want to show you what it uh, what it looks like. What we have here is Vision Tech 7790. Vision Tech will give you a lifetime warranty. It kind of looks like an uh, it looks like a uh, HIS card, but it's not. You know, so um, we have a Thermaltake TR 600 watt and a uh, one terabyte Toshiba say the six hard drive, one DVD burner. This has Windows 8 in it actually, so it's Windows 8 uh, Home Premium, and uh, and we have it installed in a Diablo Tech case. It's a pretty, you know, it's nice looking case. What's nice about it, it has a 120 millimeter front and one, uh, three 120 millimeter exhaust fans on the back. So two on, two on top, one on back, and it's it's meant to be a, a fairly affordable. Uh, you know, and fairly decent gaming on a computer. So, but let's take a look at what actually goes into it because we're actually going to uh, rebuild uh, build another computer. And here's uh, here are the components we have in front of us. So basically, we went with the Vision Tech because of the lifetime warranty, and the 7790 is a good, you know, it's good performance for a dollar. And uh, as far as I know, the, there's no offering from Nvidia at this price point from any company that'll give you a lifetime warranty. And then uh, the difference between the two builds will basically be the memory and the power supply. And what we have here is Antec's basic 450 watt power supply. Now, when you get an Antec basic power supply, it's not really basic because if you can see here, it's 400 watts, 450 watts of continuous power and a 120 uh, millimeter fan. So uh, I'm just gonna rip it apart and show you it because we don't want to do a, you know, we've been doing a lot of unboxing videos, but we haven't really, it's been a while since I've done one that uh, shows you what all went to uh, build, and uh, I think that one of my previous videos, uh, a lot of people like that. So Antex, uh, so you, just in case, like I said, it's it's affordable. 450 watts is enough to power the uh, 7790, but not in Crossfire. But they, they did give you this typical Antex packaging. It's green packaging. They don't, use, they don't use styrofoam or anything like that, and. Since the case doesn't have a clear side, we're not really concerned about sleeving, you know. So here's the power supply. It looks nice, you know, it's a cool color scheme and everything. Uh, and it's enough power, so. But like I said, most of the stuff from Antec holds up very well. Two, uh, it's a, again, this is a two year warranty on the basic power, but it's 450 watt continuous. Okay, they did give you the power cord in this particular case. Uh, we have Kingston HyperX. Uh, this is the 8 gig kit. Uh, it's two dims at 1600 megahertz, case latency 9. Again, we want to, you know, and of course, lifetime warranty in it. But to keep it affordable, because RAM has recently got up in price, we decided to go with the Kingstons. But you want to get the 1866 megahertz RAM if you can get it. Uh, and Take a look at the motherboard. The motherboard is, of course, for the uh, AMD FX Unlock series, the 900 uh, 9 series chipset. Um, it has a really cool feature called, uh, uh, I believe that was it, uh, uh, the BIOS flashback. I can't remember, but basically it allows you to, um, it allows you to actually flash the BIOS without putting memory or a CPU in there. And so, and the, actually, and, uh, that's faster USB transmission. I'm not sure about that, but but this is the same motherboard that you just saw, and we're just gonna take a closer look at it because AM3 motherboards are pretty affordable now. So you see, you have four DIMMs, Mem OK, in case you have memory that's not on the official support list, Mem OK, and it'll boot up. You have one, two, and then you have six uh, SATA three uh, SATA three connectors here. And you have a USB 3.0 front header, and uh, one two, again two PCI Express for uh, Crossfire X and two Mini PCI Express and two Legacy PCI. Uh, but 
you know, it's a nice looking board. Uh, optical. You have two, four, six USB two, two USB uh, three super C, and PS two. Uh, it's not. It's actually separated, so it's not a combo. Like the HD audio here, and the heat sink looks kind of cool. But that's what we have. And what do they? They don't include much in with this particular. They include a back I/O plate, which is nice. It's white, and so it looks really, really nice and uh, you know, labeled and everything. But they only give you two uh, SATA 3.0, two SATA cables with it, and so you get a multilingual. You get a multilingual. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not multilingual. It looks like it's only English, and then you get exclusive boot features, the user guide. Of course, your disc, you know, your support CD, your drivers, and you have a little uh, Asus sticker for badging right there. So let's continue. The last couple things that we have on here is the graphics card. Mission Tech is not a flashy company by any means. Uh, I mean, you don't even know what the heck is in there. There's no picture or anything. It looks like a, I like the color scheme on this. It looks British green. It looks like it's a racing, you know, deal, like a, you know. But so I guess if you're into cars and you understand, you know, you get that, then it's kind of a cool box. But otherwise, you don't get a picture of what the heck you're buying, you know, which is kind of bad. I think that you should always have a picture like this. There are uh, some things that don't look like uh, what you, what you think you're gonna get. But basically, this is the 7790. So it's a more powerful than 7770. Um, more stream processors, uh, more powerful uh, GPU, uh, everything like that. And basically, it's an Ifinity uh, capable video card too. And they are recommending a 400 watt or greater. So, that's all you really need. The cards became much more powerful and, you know, less power hungry over time. But this is the uh, box. Well, look at that. That's. I don't remember the other box. Okay, there we go. Vision Tech quick install guide. In Vision Tech driver CD, but no badge. They don't. They don't advertise like that. I think they should, but they just don't. Packaging is rather green, and we're just gonna break the seal. There you have it. The 7790 from Vision Tech, a big fan. Uh, fairly decent sized uh, cooler. There's a big copper plate on the bottom. Uh, the memory is not cooled, uh, so the memory is exposed and everything, but it's, as you can see, two DVI, HDMI, and display port. And this is just the classic, not the main display port, just the display port. And then you have a six pin uh, PCI Express connected there. So, I mean, it looks like an HIS card. Um, it just could be that they're using the same cooler from everybody, but uh, even the PCB board looks like that. But it's a it's a pretty powerful card for the money. I mean, uh, Crossfire, there's supposed to be something else too, so. And they come down price. They're, this card was very affordable, especially uh, for having that lifetime warranty. It's a really affordable card. So, and last but not least, let's check out the processor. Now, the, uh, this is the... Uh, 6300, I can't remember, this is the Vishera processor core, I can't remember which one it is. 3.5 gigahertz and then it turbos from here to 4 gigahertz. Or, uh, well, uh, I believe at 4 gigahertz. Uh, don't quote me on that at the moment. But, you just have your little... We're just pulling it out because there's not much to this. It's just that they do give you a FX badging and there's the processor alone. Um, and it looks like a Phenom. It looks like any other FX processor, except there's a difference in pins. And let me just try to get this out. So there's just a difference in pins. And the cooler is pretty sad. There's pre-applied paste, but it's not a very um, big cooler by any means. Don't overclock on this, um, because it is an FX unlock processor. You can overclock it like mad, but you probably want to get a you know, you probably want to get an aftermarket cooler, so. But, yeah, thanks for watching this uh, unboxing uh, video of everything that's going to go into a computer like that. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them at the drop bottom of the video. Thanks.